Hey, what's up guys? Are you new to Town Hall 4? Or maybe you've been playing Town Hall 4 for a while, but you're still not sure what the upgrade order is? Well, this video is going to be covering just that. The exact order of how you should upgrade buildings so that way you can set up your village for massive success. Hey, what's up guys? It's Jason with Gaming here. Hope you guys are having a great day. And so, like I said in the intro, this is gonna be all about how to upgrade Town Hall 4, and in my opinion, the best way to actually upgrade Town Hall 4. So, this is actually a continuation of my Let's Play series. If you haven't checked out some of the previous episodes, feel free to check them out. I'll be leaving the playlist in the top right. So, this is gonna be a little bit of a shorter episode, and I just wanna go ahead and jump right in and what you should upgrade first. So at number one on the list, the first thing that I would do is actually go ahead and place down the new buildings. You actually get two new buildings at Town Hall 4. One of those being the air defense and this is awesome because at Town Hall 3, I was getting constantly bullied by balloons and now it feels great to actually have the ability to stand a chance against those balloon attacks. The next new thing that you actually get access to is the spring trap. If you're not familiar with what the spring trap does, what it basically does is if a barbarian or a giant walks over, it's going to spring them and basically instantly kill that troop, which is it's great to see and it's crucial in making your defense work. And then after that, after those are the two new buildings that you actually get access to, but what I would place on first is actually everything new that you get. The first things I'd start out with is the is the spring traps and the walls. Then after that, I'd go ahead and place down the barracks and the collectors. So the first step is really to just place down all the new buildings that you have received. And yeah, that's really it for point number one. The next thing that I would go ahead and upgrade is actually the laboratory. The laboratory is awesome in helping you be successful in your army and just raiding in general. So you get the option to upgrade your giants, wall breakers, and actually balloons when you upgrade your lab to level two. I've already upgraded my giants to level two, and I would recommend upgrading your giants first, then your wall breakers, and then your balloons. Giants are the primary attack composition that I use, at least they're the heart of every attack that I use personally. So that's my particular order. But obviously you can actually upgrade in any order that you would like. And the next thing that I would upgrade, so for point number three, would be the army camps. You can actually upgrade the army camps from level three to level four. And what this allows you to do is actually get more troop space. So it just helps your army. Uh, and when you go out and raid, so you can actually start raiding Town Hall forward a little bit easier because you have that extra troop, troop space now. So now let's go ahead and get into the next point. So after you've gone ahead and upgraded your army camps, the next thing that I would go ahead and upgrade is the clan castle. What this allows you to do is when you upgrade it to level two, which I already have, is you get five more troop space, which makes a huge difference, especially at Town Hall 4. I'm gonna be showing you a ton of new attack strategies that you can use at Town Hall 4, and this just helps you immensely, not only in defense, but in offense and also in war, you can just bring extra troops and overall just a great upgrade. Let's go ahead and get into point number five. So for point number five, what I would recommend upgrading is actually maxing your barracks to level six. When you upgrade to level six, you get access to the balloon and the balloon is an awesome troop just because you can attack people from the air now and it changes the game. Air attacks are completely different than ground. And honestly, if you haven't tried it already, I would recommend training up a balloon army and really just giving it a go because it's a fun new way to attack and just completely different than ground attacks as a whole. So while everything else is upgrading, what I would recommend you do is actually upgrade the walls to level three. Level three is the Town Hall three max standard. And the reason I say that is because everything else that I put previously on the list besides the actual placing of defenses and upgrading the clan castle, everything else is elixir based. So you're gonna have some extra gold on hand and what I would recommend doing is go ahead and start upgrading these walls to Town Hall level three max, which is level three. So I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade that for this wall. Just get one off the bat. And so that's what I would be doing while everything else is upgrading. And after you've, you've gone ahead and done the barracks and you started to upgrade some walls, what I would do next is start upgrading the storages. The storages and the collectors are where you're gonna basically generate resources overnight while you're asleep throughout the day, etc. And the storages are basically just gonna be where you're gonna be able to store it. 
So that's what I would go ahead and do next. So after you've done the storages, the collectors, I would finally go ahead and max out your defenses. There is really no particular order in which I would do this, but I would go ahead and start maxing out your defenses. Unfortunately, you cannot max out traps at Town Hall level four, but that's okay. You can upgrade the bombs to level two if you haven't already, but that's really it for the Town Hall four upgrade guide. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave a like and subscribe if you guys enjoyed. I know it's a little bit of a shorter video, but that's what I would do at Town Hall 4 to set me up for massive success.